So I'm sort of late on this. This news broke about a week ago, and this isn't really the type of news that I cover since I mainly cover Mortal Kombat, as you guys all, all know. Uh, but what I will talk about will affect Mortal Kombat and will affect Netherrealm, shall this go through. So I'm, I'm already getting to things that are out of context. So let me explain what's going on. So if you haven't heard, AT&T, which owns Warner Brothers, is looking to sell WB Games for $4 billion in order to deal with their $200 billion debt. And some game companies are interested in buying, and they are Take-Two Entertainment, EA, oh boy, <laughs> and Activision Blizzard. Some things to keep in mind is that this isn't 100% happening. Like, it's totally possible WB Games can stay the same, nothing ever happens, and things are business as usual. But it is confirmed, it is the case that AT&T are looking for this. And the first thing I have to say is, wow, I literally never thought this day would come. I've always like had hypothetical thoughts of what if Mortal Kombat wasn't under WB? What would the games look like? What would the games what would the games that I like to play look like under different companies? And I always thought to myself back then, well, it's never going to happen because WB Games, they love making money and there's no reason to, for them to really sell Mortal Kombat, but now that it's here, now that it's possible and it's confirmed like Oh my god, that is really, really shocking to me. So as we all know, I cover Mortal Kombat and Netherrealm games, so I'm mainly going to talk about what's going to happen with them hypothetically, shall WB Games get sold to another company. So one thing I am unsure of is if WB gets sold and Netherrealm is under a new parent company, wouldn't that mean that Netherrealm can no longer make Injustice games? Because Injustice is DC, and once Netherrealm is off to another company, they don't keep the DC characters because they don't own them, and it's the same with Rocksteady and the Montreal Studio, they which have made the Batman games for the Arkham series. They don't own Batman, they don't own the license to Batman, so once they are under a new company, does that mean Rocksteady gets to make completely new games with new IPs and such? Or will it be the case where WB says, okay, well, we're gonna sell you, but before you leave, EA, Activision, here's the license to Batman, here's the license to the DC characters, you can make your Injustice games, you can make the Batman games. That could happen, but Netherrealm might keep Mortal Kombat because of Ed Boon and the people who created Mortal Kombat still work there, so they may have some sort of say. So Mortal Kombat, I think, is safe, but it's possible that Netherrealm and Mortal Kombat doesn't go anywhere, or Mortal Kombat doesn't go anywhere. Netherrealm can make whatever games they want, but they don't have the rights to Mortal Kombat because technically, it's still a WB property. I don't think we're gonna have to worry about that because Mortal Kombat, I feel, is probably going to be at the top of the line. It's gonna be the most affected, which means what it'll require a company to have the license to Mortal Kombat. So what's gonna happen if one of these companies gets Netherrealm? And I'll start with EA and <sighs> you know, that that's going to be terrible. Did you think the microtransactions in Mortal Kombat 11 were bad? <laughs> you haven't seen nothing yet. Now look, let's be real here. Battlefront 2 right now, currently, is a really, really good game. I love playing that game. I think that game is awesome. And although I haven't played it, I heard Jedi Fallen Order is also a really, really good game. But what about Dead Space in that franchise? What about Anthem? Remember Anthem, that game, the game that came out last year? That game is dead. Remember the scandal that was Battlefront 2's launch? What about Pandemic and LucasArts? <laughs> EA did them dirty, and EA has a very, very, very ugly history with really, really putting a bad taste in, I, I was gonna say gamer's mouth, I don't really like to say gamers because I think that's cringe. But it, they have a really, really bad reputation. That, that, that's just the point here. And although, again, Jedi Fallen Order exists, although currently Battlefront 2 is good, and they do have Apex Legends. Apex Legends, I hear, is really good. It's very, very popular right now. We cannot ignore the very, very bad history that they have. So EA should be an automatic no. We should be rooting against that. We should be rooting against EA even having their hands around Netherrealm and Mortal Kombat. The next one is Activision Blizzard, who is also looking to buy. And 
All I've really got to say is look at the Call of Duty franchise and judge for yourself. And you're talking to a guy who used to be a massive Call of Duty fan. I was one of the Call of Duty OGs. I may be young, but I've been with Call of Duty since Call of Duty 3. So take my word for it, guys. This would also be really bad. Basically, expect a Mortal Kombat game every year running on the same engine and playing basically the same. And the quality of those games being equivalent to the Call of Duty games as they are now. That doesn't sound good at all. Like, imagine a Mortal Kombat game playing the same every year, playing like Mortal Kombat X every year with a 50-50 meta with the overhead lows and stuff. Imagine getting a Mortal Kombat game, getting that kind of Mortal Kombat game every year. Ugh, that just, that just makes me sick thinking about that. I, I really do not want that with my Mortal Kombat franchise. Like, the games may be different, they may, may look different, the stories may be different, but they're going to play the same, they're going to be run on the same engine, nothing is really going to change. Now, I know Warzone is really good right now, apparently they got rid of the whole uh, four traditional, four DLC map pack kind of thing where they release four map packs every Call of Duty game and once they're four, once they're done with those four map packs then they move on to the next game. Apparently they got rid of that and everything is free now except for our, like cosmetics and camos and stuff like that. But still, we cannot forget, like EA, we cannot forget the really, really bad reputation. Again, all I gotta say is Look at the Call of Duty franchise and judge for yourself. Do you really want the quality of that franchise to be applied to Mortal Kombat? Take-Two is the third company that is looking to buy and out of the two or out of the three, this is the lesser evil. They have Rockstar and they have 2K and Rockstar of course has GTA 5 under their belt and they have Red Dead 2 under their belt and 2K has the NBA games, they have Borderlands, they have the WWE games. They have good games. They are very, very capable of making good games and Take-Two does have a reputation of letting those studios do whatever they want and they do have massive, massive budgets and their games at launch are almost 100% complete all the time. But the downside is the microtransaction thing. GTA 5 Online with the shark cards and shit like that. I haven't played Red Dead 2 in a while. So guys, for those who still play Red Dead, please correct me on this or let me know if this has changed or anything. But I hear Red Dead Online, the online economy is very, very bad. Like it takes hours to buy a gun it takes hours to buy a horse so it really does push you use real money to get things to upgrade your stuff like upgrade your guns upgrade your horses almost pay to win like you can unlock this stuff in the game but it takes hours to unlock it takes hours to earn your money and shit like that let me know if that's changed basically if you want to apply that in mortal kombat terms imagine the towers of time taking 36 hours to complete to get a skin you thought this towers of time grind was bad now you haven't seen nothing yet if the take two logic is going to apply to Netherrealm games. We don't know yet. Again, I don't know because I don't know if there's any updates that they've made. You guys who play those games, you guys can let me know in the comments below. You guys can clarify that. Now, one more thing to know here before I go. I did a poll on Twitter asking for your thoughts on who, would you, who you would like to see by WB Games. And with over 500 votes, most of you said Microsoft, which I didn't mention, yes, because as I said, it is a rumor that Microsoft is looking to buy this division as well. And honestly, if Microsoft does get them, I guess that would be okay as well. But from a personal standpoint, I don't want to play Mortal Kombat on an Xbox. Like, I don't want Mortal Kombat to be an Xbox exclusive. It may be like a Minecraft situation where it's available on all platforms, although Microsoft still does own Minecraft. One thing it, that is for certain, and I think is what pushed people to vote for Microsoft on this poll, is if Microsoft gets Netherrealm, or if they, gets, if they get the rights to Mortal Kombat, 
we are getting a Mortal Kombat versus Killer Instinct game. Like that is guaranteed. I still don't know how I feel about this. I'm not really liking the buyers that are looking to get WB games. But we'll see what happens when it happens. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a big thumbs up and subscribe for more Mortal Kombat content. Anyways, I will see you all in the next video.